Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about CLC blocks. CLC is a short form of cellular lightweight concrete. It is also called as foam concrete. And the blocks made up of this type of concrete are called as CLC blocks, foam concrete blocks or foam crete blocks. Cellular lightweight concrete is a mixture of cement, fly ash, sand, water and foaming agent. The foaming agent can be protein based or synthetic. So the proportion of these raw materials will decide the required properties of cellular lightweight concrete. That is strength, thermal conductivity or durability. Also depending on required CLC density and variance, an appropriate mix design is selected. Now let us see what are the advantages of cellular lightweight concrete blocks. Light in weight. CLC blocks are very lightweight with density ranging from 300 to 1800 kg per m3. The weight of CLC blocks is 3 times less than clay bricks. Savings in raw material and reduced dead load. Aggregates are not required in manufacturing of CLC. Hence, the dead load reduces by almost half. Sound insulation. CLC blocks are excellent for sound insulation, which keeps the house cool in summer and warm in winter, leads to saving in electricity for cooling and heating. Eco-friendly. Foam concrete is eco-friendly material as fly ash and other industrial waste materials are used in manufacturing. The production process of CLC or its use does not release any harmful effluents to ground, water or air. Hence, it's environment friendly material. And the other aspect is, CLC due to its low weight is ideal for making partitions. The use of CLC for this purpose will reduce the need for plywood partitions. This consequently will result in reduction in deforestation and will benefit environment. Savings in structural foundation. CLC blocks are very lightweight, hence the resultant load transferred to foundation reduces. Ultimately, the requirement of steel also reduces, leading to huge savings. Savings in plastering and paints. A thin layer of plaster is sufficient on CLC blocks, hence considerable savings can be made. Also, better finishing of walls offers good amount of reduction in paints. Fire protection. The air embedded in the CLC is also instrumental for high fire rating. With a just 100 mm thickness of CLC wall with density of 1000 kg per m3 offers fire endurance for heat transmission for 4 hours without releasing any toxic fumes during the fire. Fire rating of cellular concrete is far superior to that of brickwork or dense concrete. Lower water absorption. The low water absorption property of these blocks will help to reduce the cracks in the walls. High thermal insulation. Thermal insulation performance of 100 mm thick CLC wall is equivalent to 5 times thicker and 10 times heavier dense concrete wall. Easy to handle. Foam concrete blocks are easy and quick to install. They require no minimal maintenance, which reduces long term costs. Foam concrete blocks are saving in cement, sand, water, labor, energy, and time. Insulated flooring. As the impact force will not transmit, slabs produced of CLC or topped with layer of CLC floor screen will prevent any sound being noticed in the room below. Faster construction. Due to thin layer of plaster, the carpet area can be increased. Earthquake resistant. CLC blocks are excellent for earthquake resistant housing due to their lightweight characteristic. Customizable physical properties. Adding polypropylene fiber to CLC increases compressive strength, impact strength, bending stress, and reduces shrinkage and water absorption. Now let us understand how CLC blocks are manufactured. Cement, sand, fly ash, and water are mixed in a concrete mixer to form a cement slurry. Water and foaming agent are mixed in a foam generator to form an aqueous foam. After that, cement slurry and aqueous foam are mixed together in a concrete mixer to form a cellular lightweight concrete. The volume of air cells in the foam concrete determines the density and strength. The mixture is poured into assembled molds of blocks. The foam creates a ball bearing effect due to which the concrete flows easily into all corners of the mold and compacts itself. Hence it doesn't require any kind of vibration and compaction. Blocks are cured by water curing procedure for 14 to 28 days. Here the question is how CLC blocks become lightweight? Well the answer is CLC blocks consists of lot of pores and these pores contain nothing but air 
which is 30 to 35 percent of volume of a block, which results in a lightweight stable cellular material with densities ranging from 300 kg per m cube to 1800 kg per m cube. Uses CLC blocks can be used in following acoustic construction, precast exterior walls, roof insulation and waterproofing, green construction, additional floors to existing structure, building material for high rises, low cost housing, subways, etc. The sizes available in CLC blocks are as below. The table shows size in mm and number of blocks in 1 cubic meter. 600 by 200 by 100 mm, 83 numbers of blocks in 1 cubic meter. 600 by 200 by 150 mm, 55 numbers of blocks in 1 cubic meter. 600 by 200 by 200 mm, 41 numbers of blocks in 1 cubic meter. And 600 by 200 by 250 mm contains 33 numbers of blocks in 1 cubic meter. Grades of CLC CLC blocks are available in 3 grades. Grade A 1200 to 1800 kg per m cube. These blocks are used in load bearing walls. Grade B 800 to 1000 kg per m cube. These blocks are used in non load bearing walls. Grade C 400 to 600 kg per m cube density. These blocks are used for providing thermal insulation. The construction process of CLC blocks is similar to AAC blocks which I have already explained in this video. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch it from the link given in the description of this video. Now the final part is cost. The cost of CLC is less than equivalent volume of conventional concrete. The rate of CLC block starts from 1800 rupees per m cube and this depends upon location and prices of raw materials. So friends, I hope I have covered all the information about cellular lightweight concrete blocks in this video. Like this video if you learned something and be sure to share it with someone who might benefit from it. If you have any doubts or suggestions, you can mention it in the comment sections. Subscribe to Engineering Motive for more such videos and ring that notification bell so that you won't miss the new video. Finally, thanks for watching.